Emmanuel was a one in a lifetime, maybe one in many lifetimes collaborator and friend. From the outside, people mostly knew him for his extraordinary intelligence. But for people who were closer to him, I think it was really his persistence and his enthusiasm for his work that were even more unique. When I was working with him, I never had to worry that a project would hit a dead end because I knew that we would eventually grind through or break down whatever roadblocks came our way. His enthusiasm for his work was infectious. One time when we were traveling together in New Zealand, Emmanuel discovered some of Al Harberger's papers from the 1970s. And we stayed up all night in a place called Punakaiki trying to read and understand them. We'd rented a cottage by the ocean, but by the time we were done with the papers, the sun had already set and it was too late to go to the beach. Not only that, all the stores and restaurants in the area were closed and so we couldn't get dinner. I tried to call up some pubs to convince them to cook something for us, but nobody was willing to do it. Eventually, we ate our dinner, which was a bag of bananas Emmanuel had picked up from the grocery store earlier that day, and some energy drinks from the back of the car. Despite this, we went to bed fully satisfied, knowing that we had learned something new that neither of us knew before. I'm going to miss moments like this in my life. Adieu, my friend. I think about your absence every day.